Hello guys and welcome back. So for today we just need to install this corner buff unit in uh, and it's going to go exactly onto that corner. Uh, but before going forward I just want to let you know um, before you are going to install a buff tub like that um, that is going to be very hard to uh, have maintenance on, on it at a later stage. Now all this buff tub is just going to be stick stuck onto the walls with, with some silicon seal and if you want to reach uh, the trap or the waste pipe uh, or you might have some problems with uh, the pop-up waste or overflow over there or you just want to change the tap that is going to be quite difficult because you will have to take all the bathtub out pull it away from the wall and then you can have your maintenance so uh, yeah at this point uh, probably the plumber is going to be more expensive because he's going to be a little bit of headaches to do all that now in this case i tiled everything and the bathtub is not just going to go into the wall and then have our tiles on top of the bathtub and that is a good thing because uh, when we pull it out if we need to pull it out uh, that means we don't have to do any repairs to the tiles because sometimes when you pull it out uh, some of the tiles are just going to be taken off or we have to take them off before because uh, the bathtub cannot go out so uh, yeah this is a freestanding buff uh, and it's coming all in one piece so uh, yeah that could be a headache hopefully we are not going to get any problems here in the next 5-10 years and we will be okay so yeah without any further ado let's just start and uh, install the bathtub now this is the tap of the bathtub that i'm going to install it right over here uh, it's not coming uh, the bathtub is not coming drilled so uh, we will have to uh, make our own holes uh, the bathtub uh, the the tap is just going to be somewhere around here I already marked my uh, holes and I'm ready to do my holes Okay, so right now our holes are done and we are ready to install the tap. Okay, now we have this rubber washer here that is always going to go from the uh, back side. So underneath the bathtub. So here we go, we are underneath. And I'm just going to put my rubber washer in and then tighten everything up. steady as possible not to move or twist in any so, way uh, now I'm ready to connect um, the pipe for the main water supply and I'm just going to use some flexible uh, the, this is a 22 to 15 mil 
and I just added some more copper at the end so I can do my connections with the pipes that are right over there. Now these flexible, they just have a, a rubber washer inside, so that means we can just tighten everything up. Now, when you are tightening them up, because it has that rubber washer inside, uh, don't overdo it because you might cut the rubber washer and then you are going to get a leak. So, uh, yeah, don't tighten it up too much. So now we'll go. So, all right, guys, before we are going to go forward, So all right, now it's a good time to adjust the legs, try to put it level and this gap over here should be around uh, 3 mil minimum. So we don't actually want the panel to touch the floor. So you just need to adjust the height from the legs and then we just lock it. Now, most probably, before I'm going to install it completely with the silicon seal, I'm going to uh, put my level on and see if everything is going to be uh, okay. So here it's our pop-up waste and we are ready to install it. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of silicon all around and uh, even on this other side, uh, just on top. Now, I'm not going to go crazy with the silicon because if you are going to put too much, uh, when we are going to tighten everything up, uh, the washer is just going to go out. Now, in this case, uh, this one, it's a little bit better because it's going to go uh, exactly uh, on top of the bathtub and underneath. So everything is going to be stuck together. I think this type is uh, a little bit better than the standard ones that we are going to find uh, usually in the shop. Okay, so I'm just going to put this rubber washer from underneath the bathtub. And then the overflow also. Make sure that everything is nice and clean, no excess silicon around. Now we just need to put the cover on for the overflow.
And it seems that everything is working fine. So okay guys, uh, this is the view from underneath the bathtub and everything is going to get a little bit trickier now. So alright, we have some bits and pieces here and I'm going to use a trap like this. This is a waterless trap. Uh, there are a few ways to do this. Now, if you are going to put a U-shape trap, it might be that you are not going to have enough space and you are going to uh, touch the floor and uh, that means you will have to raise these legs a little bit more and you don't want to do that because then the gap is going to be too big. So in these cases either you use a trap like this, a waterless trap, this is going to go on the 40 mil and on the 32 mil also so it can be used even for uh, a bathroom sink or you can use same a waterless trap like this from McAlfie uh, the same concept really but uh, you will still need to use uh, a band it's just going to go on the waist on the pop-up waist exactly like this and that can go right here but this one is not going to go with that bend it's a different kind uh, yeah i was just saying that there is other ways of doing it and i believe i have enough space uh, it's just about it so if we are going to put a level on We are just about there with the space so uh, yeah it will definitely need one of these is possible that one of those uh, standard traps are going to go also but i'm not going to risk it so again uh, second important thing right here we cannot do it without it we will need a flexible uh, waste pipe which is going to be like this now in my case uh, this is kind of short uh, we will need um, you can buy a little bit longer than this one but uh, this is what I have at the moment so I'm just going to use this with a small bit of pipe just to make sure that I'm going to have enough space so I'm going to insert that one in here and this one in here right onto the trap So that is going to be my waist. Again, uh, we can just put a jointing. So we can just uh, put a joining um, coupler and then insert it from the top. But again, I believe I'm not uh, going to have the height that I need. Uh, probably that is going to be higher then uh, the waste pipe and I'm just going to put so all right I will just need to put a 90 degree on uh, my pipe 
over there, my waste pipe. And then I'm just going to insert the flexible um, waste pipe in there. I could have done it from the top, but then the height would have been uh, bigger than what I have here. So I want my flow just to go down, uh, not to go up and then down again. So uh, yeah, I have to be quite careful on these. Now those I'm going to stick them on after with some solvent cement. But just when I'm going to be sure that everything is going to go fine, all the connections are going to be long enough and they are going to go well down there. So, so okay guys, uh, as you can see, I already laid the bathtub onto the floor and I also done the connections at the back for the water supply. Now everything is in pressure because I opened the valves and I still need to do this connection. Uh, I already uh, stuck that over there with some uh, cement um, solvent and I also put some silicon all around uh, that connection there and the pipes over there. So right now I'm just going to do my last connection and put it on, see if we can get uh, and see if we have any things. That should be enough. All it's in and we just need to test it. So right at this point it seems that everything is working fine, uh, it still needs some adjustments from the legs, uh, I can still do that without any problems, but uh, yeah at this point I'm just going to do the final adjustments on, uh, on the bathtub and then I'm just going to stick it to the wall with some clear uh, silicon seal. So okay guys, this is the end of our clip, hopefully uh, you are going to get uh, a better idea of what is going to get involved 
um, when you buy a corner buff like this. First of all, you have to make sure that it's going to go in through the door that you already have without doing too many modifications like I had to do. Uh, for example, taking that wall down. And uh, yeah, at this point, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. so long you see they need to fill the bag tie the bag oh you you spend a lot of money on a uh, industrial hoover no. and that is going to be easy but you need to spend a thousand pounds for it isn't it yeah that's not working man maybe i can put it a little bit lower look at that bath man it takes up more than half the bathroom <laughs> Wait for the shower, because that is huge also. You are a small man, but you like huge stuff and gold. <laughs> I, 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 I like the shower to be big, because I like to move around. Yeah. You like to wake everywhere, yes? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I miss the <laughs> No, but this bathroom, that bath is unnecessary. <laughs> but the only thing, if you have a kid, you need a bath, innit? That, that's how she does justify it. <laughs> yeah, then, we, we do that human sometimes, we blame the child. Yeah. Then I couldn't argue, I couldn't say that. Huh? I don't know how you moved that off. I still can't believe it. With my hands. With this side. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, don't scratch the bathtub, man. <laughs> that is aluminium, it leaves uh, black mud. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Fucking shit legs, man. Yeah, they said uh, uh, guarantee five years for the bath, one year for the legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. Mm. <laughs> well, if the legs are getting <laughs> the bathtub is getting Um, the toilet is not going to be that near, is it? 